I make videos regularly for a few months, then I go into hibernation for 9 years. So I'll see you guys in 2026 with the Sonic 3 bonus video, except Blue. That's only available for people who donate $10,000 per month. Just kidding, I'm not gonna have any stupid shit like that. I'm not gonna have reward tiers where I fly out to your house and be your new best friend, or make a bunch of stupid promises that I have no intention of keeping. If we could get my Patreon up to $1,000 a month, I would be making $12,000 a year. I'd be rich! But don't worry guys, even if absolutely nobody wants to give me any money, that's okay. I'll keep making Sonic videos anyways, even if I have to get a job at McDonald's. Even if I have to live in a trash can, I'll never stop making these dumb videos again. It's too late to stop me now. You'll have to throw me in jail to stop me. You'll have to kill me. <laughs> Do it! If you can! <laughs> but Sega won't fucking let him. If you ever needed any kind of proof that Sega is both incompetent and objectively evil, then this is it. How can a company this greedy and evil possibly let an opportunity this good to fleece fucking retarded consumers like me slip through their fingers? Do you even understand how embarrassing it is to have to admit the best possible version of one of my favorite games is only available on a fucking phone? And they won't even make the embarrassingly superior version of my favorite one for literally no reason? Fuck you, Sega. Come to my house and fight me. I will beat you up. God damn it, I hope you guys can tell from my voice this isn't epic acting from my hilarious YouTube meme video. This is genuine autistic anger! Fuck you, Sega. It's not even possible for me to say fuck you, Sega enough times to adequately express my rage. If you agree with me that fuck you, Sega, check out my shitpost channel where I just posted a video of me beating Sonic 2, but every time I jump I say fuck you, Sega. You guys don't understand. You don't know what I'd give for 30 minutes alone at a CIA black site with the SEGA executive that made this decision. My one goal in life is to get more YouTube subscribers in the official Sonic the Hedgehog channel, so when I sue for custody of Sonic I can prove that I can give him a better home. I promise I'll take real good care of him, I'll feed him and walk him every day, honest! So why would anyone ever possibly like this game? Well, let's look at the potential reasons. Number one, they're retarded. And Sega was aware of the harsh negative response from fans. Why don't we look at this Destructoid article from 2010? I never had a problem with Sonic Force physics, but fans around the world are furious. Just do a YouTube search for Sonic 4 physics and you'll see a legion of rage-fueled videos from confirmed virgins. Sonic Team Director Takashi Izuka has finally addressed the anger. Be careful though, his answer won't please. In this title, we have not done a straight port of the gameplay from the Genesis games, but rather updated it with actions which could not be done in previous titles, like ceiling running, explains Izuka. These changes probably made for a different feel to the longtime Sonic fans. We're happy for feedback like this, and we'll make sure we can improve the quality even further in upcoming titles. Pathological haters Sonic Retro have already called out Izuka on being a lazy, clueless director, and there's little doubt that other prominent members of the terrifying Sonic fanbase will take up their pitchforks over his unsatisfactory comments. Don't get me wrong, I think Izuka's response was lame, but only because he should have said, No, the physics are not exactly like Sonic 2 because the game isn't Sonic 2. Sega's released a billion ports of Sonic 2 if that's what you want, now shut the fuck up, you bizarre furry bastards. Jesus Christ, who wrote this fucking drivel? Probably some utterly irrelevant ass clown with even less Twitter followers than me. Jim Sterling? Fuck you, Jim, some games journalist you turned out to be. I can't respect a man who has no problem with the physics in Sonic 4. And fuck you, I actually didn't have any intention of making a Sonic 4 video until months from now, when I had really run out of ideas. I thought I could just casually mention that Sonic 4 sucks and everyone would be okay with it. I didn't realize I was summoning the Sonic 4 Defense Force. I wasn't even that harsh to the game, I only called it a pile of shit. If someone calls something you like a pile of shit, you can just shake it off guys, it's no big deal. Now I'm gonna have to fucking rub your noses in the shit and make you feel bad for liking it. So just remember, I didn't want to do this, you made me do this. Where do I even begin? 
If for some reason you've clicked on this video and have never heard of Knuckles Chaotix, it's a game that came out in 1995 for the 32X, a piece of shit add-on that nobody bought for the Sega Genesis. Now let's look at the US booklet. Wow. Boring black and white. No style or flair at all. No flavor sketches, just shitty microscopic black and white screenshots. Check out the Japanese Badnik page. Now look at the US one. Wow. Don't strain yourself coming up with these creative localizations like... Piranha. They couldn't even spell Maidi's name right! The story isn't even the same between the Japanese and English manuals. That's always a good sign. And they couldn't even bother translating the actual canon story, so they just made some shit up that sounds close enough. What a disgrace. Who did this? Who is responsible for this manual? Wendy Dinsmore, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, enough fucking around. Let's get into the actual game already.